welcome to today's video, which is a stationery haul kindly presented by Stationery Pal. So huge thank you to them for sending me these items to show to you guys. And I'll be giving like swatches and mini reviews of everything I got. And I'm excited to try out a few new things. Stationery Pal also has new packaging and it looks pretty cool. So that's why they sent me this new box. Anyway, in this new box, I'll just be showing you everything and make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video and turn on post notifications. You can also use the code EMILYSTUDYING for 10% off your next purchase, so that's super exciting. Anyway, first up we have some assorted pens, just a bunch of different types and I'll be getting into them. So first off we have the Tombow Dual Tip Brush Pens. These I really like, I've talked about them a lot on my channel and I got a few more colors. I specifically like them because they just have a large range, they have over a hundred different colors and they're all really nice, plus they're really nice brush pens. You don't even have to use them for brush pen and calligraphy, you can use them for like drawing and everything like that. It has like a pointed tip and then it also has a brush tip, so that's super cool. And I also got like three different green colors. I don't know the exact names, I'm sure they have them, but you know what, we're just gonna call them basic blue, green, and brown. Anyway, here it's just an overview and swatch of them. The next items here are the Zebra Sarasa gel pens. These are my favorite gel pens and I just got colors in the ones I was missing to complete my collection, which is pretty cool. So these are just some of the more interesting ones that they don't sell in the regular 10 pack. So Stationery Pal sells all of them, so you should check it out. And then here are just random pens. The first is the Uniball Signo RT, and this is a 0.3 millimeter pen, and I am so impressed about how smooth and not scratchy it is. The next is just the Uniball in 0.5, and this one is very smooth too. And then lastly is this Pentel Metallic one, and somebody told me to try it out in the comments, so I decided to try it out. And it's pretty nice, it's nice and smooth. Next are some multicolored pens. This one is the Zebra Sarasa gel pen and I am very impressed with this one, mainly because it's literally the Zebra Sarasa gel pens, but in a three body pen you could say. And this is the friction erasable pen. I haven't tried one of these before, so I'm pretty stoked to try these out. And they're an erasable pen, so they just have a little like rubber eraser at the end. And it's a really nice pen too. The next is this Minion Uniball erasable pen. Although I had some difficulties with like using it, but then I just watched a tutorial on how to use it, so now I know how to um, use the pen. But I got this for my sister because she really likes minions and all that stuff, and it's a cool pen too. So next I'll be getting into swatches. Okay, we gotta talk about this Zebra Sarasa pen. It's literally my new favorite item I've ever bought, mainly because it's my favorite pen, the Zebra Sarasa, but three of them in all in one pen. So I can just carry one pen around and it's like equivalent to three of them. Anyways. The next one is this Pilot Friction one, and I would say this is actually a really smooth pen, and the colors are dark, not faded, so it shows up really nicely, and then they also erase really well, so here you can see me just testing it out, and I would say this is actually a really nice pen too. And then the next item is the Minion one. The colors are a bit lighter and faded, and it's not as vivid as the Friction one, but it's still a nice pen, and it races really well too. So here I'm just erasing it, and then I'll show you up close what it looks like. This is my first time trying out erasable pens, so I was pretty impressed with them too. And here is the Zebra Sarasa, which also showed up really nicely, and I really like that pen. These are the Zebra Sarasa Mark-Ons. Basically, if you highlight them, they won't smudge like your normal gel pen, and they still retain the quality of a smooth Zebra Sarasa. So they're great for highlighting, and they also have two sizes in them, although the 0.5 smudges just like the slightest bit more, but I would recommend the 0.5 because it's slightly smoother. Next are the Zebra Modliner Highlighters. You guys know probably about these, but they're just really nice pastel highlighters. I got these two sets in these Pokemon, so I'm really excited to test these out, mainly because my sister likes 
Pokemon. But anyway, these are really cool and they're super cute too and they come in like different colors so it's really nice and they have like this cool designed art on them which honestly I think looks really nice. And then here are the regular sets, the ones that have been like around for a long time. But anyway, I'll just show you these ones. The art looks super cool and everything about these highlighters are just amazing. They have two tips, a chisel tip and a pointed tip so you can do like highlighting and like underlining anything with these they're just really amazing and then here is the other one basically the same thing just different art styles on it so next i'll be giving you swatches of each of these what i really like about the zebra mod liners is that they're super smooth and juicy and the ink is really nice it's not like your typical fluorescent eye blinding highlighters these are nice mild colors that are also really great at highlighting. Here is just an overview of all the different colors. So next we'll be moving on to this new pencil case. I got this one's an extensible one so if you put more stuff in it it can like collapse and get bigger. Don't worry I'll show you like a demonstration later on. I was looking to get a new pencil case and this one is quite fantastic because it just fits a lot of pens and it has these little slots for the pen holders and they're not too tight so like you can easily slide them in and out and they have a net for them too plus they also have just like lots of zippers and like storage and it just fits a lot of stationery in it if you're looking for that and here is how like the extensible part of it works anyway that's the whole demonstration of the pencil case it's really nice in general so the next item is the Future Color brush pens. These ones are really cheap and you get a bunch of different colors to test out. If you're like a beginner and looking into getting into brush pens but you don't want to go for the expensive ones right away, these are also a great alternative. So check these out if you are interested. But these are a bit more like a softer tip. They're not as flexible and but they're still great brush pens that if you're looking to get, you should definitely check them out. And the colors are super bright and vivid. For me, these were pretty easy to use. And here's just an overall swatch look over of what they all look like. Anyways, the next item I have here are some assorted stickers. These are just like the Stationery Pal ones and some other ones, but usually Stationery Pal sends a couple of freebies. So here are them. They're just like their own branded stickers, which are pretty cool. Next, I just have like simple glue and whiteout strip things. And then here, I'm really excited about these. These are the Uniball Kurutoga. I've never tried these pencils before and they look really nice. So first I have like this muted green one that's really nice and pastel. I kind of struggled with the packaging, but like I eventually found it out. Anyway, this has like a matte finish, so it's really nice and it's really good high quality pencil because it has like this technology that twists the lead every time you like pump it. It's kind of hard to explain. But anyway, next, Rilakkuma pencil, which is like this Japanese bear, but it's really cute and it's basically the same technology as like the other pencil just a different exterior design this is some gold consolation washi tape which I thought looked really nice because it's like reflective and like holographic so like I just thought it was really cool and it's just a nice washi tape and it's like really high quality too so the next item on the list is the erasers. I just got a bunch of them because I need some new erasers and I really wanted to try these out. These are foam erasers so they're just really high quality and they erase really well. This next item here are these Pikachu Zebra Sarasa pens. These are also limited edition and they kind of match with like the highlighters. Zebra Sarasa just has really smooth gel pens and they're just like my go-to all-around gel pen for like anything. Not to mention these are like the lighter pastel Stella ones so these are from like the milk set if you don't know but anyway I like the design on them and they're just really cool in general so here are some swatches of them and they write really smoothly really dark like the colors aren't scratchy I know this with like lighter colors they tend to like be light more scratchy I don't know how to explain it but these aren't they're nice and smooth so the next item here are just some basic sticky index note papers 
but I'm really excited about this Kakuyo Campus A5 Soft Ring Notebook because these notebooks are so good. The paper quality is amazing. Not to mention they have soft rings. So like when you write, your hand doesn't like touch the metal spiral, it touches the plastic. And then this is the Kukuyo Campus Notebook. It has 80 pages. It's honestly really thick. I thought it'd be thinner and it comes with tons of good quality paper. These are like the Kukuyo Choi connecting stickers. So basically you can connect pages to like a notebook or like textbook or like binder, whatever you want. And they're basically just like stickers and the quality of the sticker is very similar to washi tape. You can rip them off if you want or just peel them, but it's just like a strip of washi tape in a little square and it folds in half and you just like, let's say, attach a piece of paper. I'm just attaching like this business card to the notebook, but anyway, I thought it was like really cool and I had to try it out. The next last items are just like a bunch of random freebies that Stationery Pal usually sends in. These are just some normal food erasers and then this ball that shakes, I don't really know. And then this little hat, I don't even know what it is, but I think you put it on pens or something. Like, please comment if you know what it is. And to end it off, some plastic pins of various designs. So that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And a huge thank you to Stationery Pal for sending everything. So check out these videos right here if you want to see more stationery hauls. Bye-bye.